Good morning, good morning. I got one and I'm going to read it. It's, um, I don't have to win because I know God is in control. And he loves those people. Every day we struggle with people, angry people. This situation here may help. On winning by winning, I mean, of course, losing. Embracing forgiveness instead of anger. I just really, I just really, I'm just really good at arguments. I can argue about God and almost always win. And by winning, of course, I mean losing. Sure, in my in many fantasies wor worlds, I get out of are you are you every day and pin them to the local mat, and they are so humbled they turn to me in tears and ask me they must do to be saved. They are also on awe in the truth of my promise, phalanchine of my argument, and soundless of my chromatic, that they may have no choice but to begin their relationship with God. Yeah, it doesn't always work that way, ever. Without love, I'm just a bunch of noise, and even when well intentional, my arguments and obstruction, obstruction people have heard so many words. They want to see love of. They want to see the love of God. We quote scriptures saying God is love, and the and love covers multiple. Of sin, John one four eight and Peter eight four no four eight, but we don't demonstrate this. Our wor words are just more unuseless racket. I'm convinced that this is the battleground of anger and offense in. Forgiveness and letting go. There is, is it where it all matters? Jesus said, "Our defending charismatic should be love for one another, and it's just love for those who are casually similar to us." And it's not just love for those who are casual, clearly similar to us. This is just why we can and should overlook offenses. This is why we should give up our right to anger, however justified we feel in 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 it. And no, and I'm to love people. In the way God loves me, I have to lo love them, faults and all. <laughs> Letting go of offenses and anger means forgiving, and forgiveness means sacrifice. That is what is so striking to me as I get older. About Jesus, I am significantly dumbfounded that I am off the hook because of what he has done for me, but still stopped in my tracks by what's being asked of me. Both I know God has already forgiven me, yet this very truth offended me. It means if someone has done something to wound me, I would have to endure a second hurt, 
one that feels like another wound, my sense of justice says to the person who hurts me, should pay. But forgiveness, it's the forgiver, the victim, who must pay again. This is probably, this will probably seem like a silly story, but I'll share it anyway. I, I lived in South Florida, and I had a surfboard made, makes, this makes little sense, given that I barely balance myself on dry land, but that's not important now. My wife loaned it to some friends. They destroyed it and didn't even offer to pay for it. At the moment, I had to I had a choice, forgive them and I and my sense of justice take care of the hit or refuse to forgive them and try to make them pay for it anyway. In other scenarios, someone pays. I'm actually not going to tell you the end of that story because it doesn't matter. Whatever, there's an injury of a relationship or hurt or broken heart or even a broken thing you are you are willing to forgive you're saying i got this i'm going to pick up the bills for this this is of course partially what god has done for us the cross similarly that stands as constant reminder of his willingness to for pay for the bill and as in intimate on a, an incondiment on us when we are willing are unwilling to do the same for others there is a story in Luke where apparently God replies, God, apparently a good religious and rich young man, approached Jesus, wondering what he must do to inherit eternal life. Intimately, Jesus placed a diamond on, on him, sell everything and give up to, and give it to the poor. And we're told the young man heard that, heard that, and walked away sad. I think for so many of us who live in this society that is so riven but with anger and acceptance to do, Jesus is giving us a similar demand. Give up your anger because of what I've done for you. Give it, give it up and forgive. Sadly, your, your response is, that's not fair, and, and walk away too. One thing that strikes me about rich and young men story Jesus doesn't leave him with room to wiggle the man will either do what Jesus says or walk away there is no spitting the splitting the difference paying lip service or trying to split technologies um hair hairs but as we do with his, as we do as but as but we love to do this with forgiveness jesus tells his followers to forgive as as have been forgiven yet we find re reasons why this doesn't quite apply to our situation once i endure and I got into an argument on Twitter I responded to a well-known actor comedy who's tweeted 
that whenever he talked about his atheism to and people told him shouldn't be because it offended people he replied that it's too bad because even though I disagree with him about God I still love participating in his what and for that for some of his followers was fighting words I have no idea why but we as went back and forth and rem I was reminded again how of of how God's helping me to give to grow up I didn't need to or even want to win in exchange I knew there's nothing to win I knew the people attacking me weren't really attacking me I didn't know they've been I didn't know what they've been through I don't want to win because I know God is in control and I know he's loves those people and I don't have to win because there's no such at strike when people make uh, accessories about me I don't actually think them over occasionally say you know what that is a good point I am in I am not winning or losing because I'm not even paying playing a game anymore I'm off the board Jesus gives us a completely different way to live and this one that sits us free from anger one free from ever-present guilt free to really love people free to forgive as Jesus forgives response are you struggling with choosing forgiveness over anger explain write a brief prayer asking for the Lord's help prayer Lord Jesus thank you that I can choose to forgive as you choose to forgive me be um, Colossians 3 13 forbidding one another and for forgiving one another if any man have frail against any even as Christ forgave you also so also do he well anyway if you like this like subscribe comment below anyway I will be doing more of these as I know many of you like them anyway like and subscribe liking gets the video cast around anyway have a God blessed day